Oh, well, oh, well, what do we have here? <laughs> oh, well, oh, well. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Oh, y'all know I wasn't going to sit there so now, y'all. But look at how God works. All you got to do is sit back, let God do his job. And he going to come through every time for you. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Every time. It's like it's like clockwork. Every time I point out some real stuff, and these fools like to come on YouTube, argue with me, and try to deny the truth, what happens? God said, "Don't worry about the son. I got you." Bang. So look, what do we have here? Now, in case y'all lost in the sauce, I've been trying to tell these folks. The obvious that Kalen Clark got some of the most fakest fans I've seen in my life. A lot of these fans are fake, they racist, and they only like Kalen Clark because they hate Angel Reese. And a lot of you folks didn't want to listen. You got now, I'm not saying her whole fan base, and I've said this many times. I have no problem with, with Kalen Clark. I have no problem with you liking Kalen Clark. I'm talking about the sick, delusional fanboys that's walking around here on YouTube and all these other platforms hating on Angel Reese, hating on all these other women in the WNBA to uplift um, Caitlin Clark and saying all this racist stuff. I told y'all, the truth is the truth. A lot of her fans are fake and a lot of her fans are racist and it's finally getting exposed. So yesterday, the unthinkable happened. Kaylin Clark. Now, Kaylin Clark goes on Instagram. Now, now according to Kaylin Clark and her fans, she don't be on the internet because she says she don't be on the internet, right? And what I told y'all yesterday show, she on the internet like, like everybody else. She she watches everything like we do. Stop letting these folks just tell you anything. Man, stop it. The politically correct answer is not going to get you by on for only so long. The real going to live forever. The fake going to be exposed. Bam. Caitlin Clark just put her fans, and I ain't talking about all her fans, because if you're a real fan, you're going to support her no matter what. She put her fake fan, the fake fan boy, the so-called care about Kevin Clark, in a trick bag. Because once she liked this tweet, oh, Taylor Swift endorsing Camilla Harris, all hell broke loose. And people started telling how they really feel about Kevin Clark. Let me go through some of this stuff. Now, a couple things we got to break down. Videos. Now, they asked Caitlin Clark about this after the game. This is what she had to say. Caitlin, uh, you liked a, an Instagram post last mm -hmm. night uh, from Taylor Swift that got a lot of attention. And I'm just curious if, if you could tell us what that post meant mm -hmm. to you and if you are, in fact, potentially going to endorse Kamala Harris. I think for myself is, you know, I have this amazing platform, so I think the biggest thing would be just encourage people to register to vote. Um, I think for myself, it's the second time I can vote in an election. At age 22, I could vote when I was 18, so um, I think do that. That's the biggest thing I can do with the platform that I have, and that's the same thing Taylor did. Um, and I think continue to educate yourself um, with the candidates that we have, the policies that they're supporting. Um, I think that's the biggest thing you can do, and that's what I've would recommend to every single person that has that opportunity in our country. Let's Scott next. Boom. Now, you know she answered that question, right? You know she answered that question. Pay attention. Now, everything she said in that video, 100% correct. I'm behind you, Kevin Clark, on this. I'm going to tell you something. I don't, I don't get into politics. I'm not educated on politics. I don't I don't believe none of the politics say I vote for I vote with God every day. That's just me personally. 
I don't I don't trust politics. I'm believing I don't get into all the politics stuff. This politics stuff splits up community, it splits up households, and a lot of friendships have ended because of politics, even on YouTube. Don't get me started. So what she says hundred percent correct. And it sounds like to me she's a lot more educated than I am. And Kaylin Clark, what she said is hundred percent right. The problem is a lot of her fans wear mega hats. A lot of her fans. Now she could have endorsed, she could have she could have put something with Trump. So we we can't change this. She won't. She she she's endorsing Camilla Harris. I don't care what nobody said. We're not going to change. She didn't answer the question directly. She answered without answering the direct question. Pay attention. She's trying to. You know what she's trying to do. <laughs> I don't know how to touch. You see what's going on. But again, she's a hundred percent correct. Kayla Clark is twenty two years old. Last time I checked, she has the right to vote for whoever she want to write, um, whoever she want to vote for. Just like anybody else, y'all. Me personally, vote for who you want to vote. If you feel like this person better, that person better, don't really matter. But respect how what other people like whoever they go with, who they go with. I don't. I'm not tripping about that. Me, I don't judge people out who you vote for. I judge people out. Of, I judge people out their your own actions. I don't judge people off color. I'm judge people off. Um, who you sleep with in, in your private life. I don't care who you sleep with in your private life. That's your business. But it seems like a lot of people have such, they are so entitled. They want everybody to agree with them on these political or real life issues. And it's really, it shouldn't be like that, right? But again, Kaylin Clark fans, they want her to do what they want her to do. And that's, push this this let's just be honest let's just be this a very very uncomfortable conversation with some of y'all because y'all don't like the truth they want Kaylin clark to push that um that flag you know what flag i'm talking about they want her to push that flag they want to wave that flag around yeah is that really her i don't believe so even though she got a boyfriend that made some questionable, said some question things on social media and liked some questionable things and a brother. So I'm still watching, paying attention. But do I believe that's her? Nah, I don't believe so. But is she doing anything to in this crap? Now, some people send me the quote, stop using my name for this stuff. Ah, you touched on it, but you didn't really going to detail like Cameron Brink, Paige Belka, uh, uh what's my girl over there that went from LSU, um, uh, Haley Van Lee, you know, they went they went to details on it. You saw the, the the players unit stood up for the black women. You saw um uh, Stewie, you saw um Stephanie Dawson, the Washington Mystic, stood up for the women, stood up against racism. But a lot of her fans They 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 was admiring Kaylin Clark because they wanted to use her as a tool, as a media tool. All of these people, yeah, Kaylin Clark busting, she beating all, she's better than all the black women, all this other stuff. Yeah, they been doing that. You ain't noticed that? I told y'all. I I like Kaylin Clark game. I don't know her personally. I like her. I respect her game. I respect what she do. Is she my favorite player? No. I like my favorite players to play on both ends. But she's a she's a really good player what she do. Respect them. But she has to get those fake racist fans away from her. And as the years go by, as the days go by, they're going to start leaving because they're going to start realizing that she's not going to do what they, what they want her to do. They want her to wrap, wave around that, that flag. It's not gonna happen that way though. As we're looking at these comments, now we've been talking about hate. She got some hate last night, and it was from her own fans. 
you got Buddy right here say we just was um just starting to finally pay some attention to the WA because somebody was actually worth watching. Then you caved. Wow. So this but this dude right here said, "Don't get sucked into politics." Taylor Swift is full of endorsing candidates that want to allow children to be surgical or chemically treated to change their bodies permanently without parental consent. Do your own research. Think she's a phenomenal entertainer, talent otherwise. That's what Buddy right here said. Now, I can go on and on and on. They ain't supported you when all the liberal WNBA players were against you, but can't support someone that is voting for Camilla, whose policies will hurt the future generations' ability to own a home or get a high-paying job. Like, again, I'm going to keep my mouth closed on the politics. I'm not educated enough. But I, I am educated, educated enough to know that a lot of these so-called fans are not her fans. It's just simple as that. She got to get them fans away from her. These are troubled people right here. Now, I remember they asked Angel Reese about it. Now, sh sh shout out to my boss, School B. Shout out to my boss, School B. He asked Angel Reese, and I talked to him. I talked to him about it. But um, he asked Angel Reese about the um, Camilla Harris and you know her, her view on the politics. That's what she had to say. Uh, Vice President, how are you? How are you? Good. How are you? It's me. You good. Nice to meet you. Vice President candidate Kamala Harris oh, wow. is um is, is is a woman and she's doing her thing. Mm -hmm. Her running for president. Have you got a chance to watch her? What are your thoughts on her running for political office? I haven't been able to tap a little a lot into the political um, election and everything going on, so I'm not them educated right now. But just continue to learn and, and just give feedback. But. Everybody go out there and vote. I, I, I commend that and I just tell a lot of people to go out there and, and, and vote because we need it for this, for this election. See, she ain't let them put her in no trick bag. Smart, very intelligent. And it's reached to play for her. And again, what Ka what Kayla Clark said though is not wrong. What Angel Reese said is not wrong. Vote. Vote who you want to vote for. Whatever policies you feel like is better, vote. I'm not educated enough. But I am willing to listen and learn. But the fact that we have a lot of fake fans are not even sitting back. And it, it's, to me, I think it's disgusting. I want more fans to come out and, and truly express how they really feel about Kaylin Clark. Because I think that'll make the WNBA game a lot better. If you if she get if you take those those racist, hateful fans, take just take that part away from her fan base, I think WNBA be in better hands. Now you still gonna have to lose some people out there, but that comes with the game. Everybody got to lose the fans. You know, fan balls everywhere. Um WNBA, so called WNBA NBA supporters away from Caitlin Clark. Simple as that. Let me know what y'all think. Get in the comment section. Light it up. It's your boy Showtime, man. <clears throat>